This is my great grandma stockings and it's my mum's dad's great mum and I'd like to ask her some questions about when, about the times when she when she was around as as an adult and a kid. Now, now grandma, I've got a picture of you in your army uniform. Yeah. What 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 sort of person were you? <laughs> I was just myself, I suppose, but I had to do a lot of work. A cipher clerk, I suppose. And what was your rank? My rank in the last 12 months was that of a sergeant. Okay. When I went in first, the, t the first title was ACW. What sort of work did you have to do? I was doing what was called code work, decoding and coding signals that had to go out to all the areas where the fighting was taking place and uh, the signals told us just where the squadrons were, where the aeroplanes were and where they were going and what they hoped to do. And then the signals coming in told us what the squadrons had achieved, how many plane, planes were lost and how many had gone out and how many had come back. And the pilots were able to tell us personally what they had learned while they were out on that particular service. Okay, what what squadrons were you talking about? Well, Who's all friends? The squadrons were the planes that were grouped in, in so many to a squadron and one squadron would go out and then perhaps another squadron would follow in another 10 minutes or a quarter of an hour. Okay, uh, all the squadrons that you were talking about, friends or foes? Well, the squadrons were the pilots in the Australian Air Force. Okay, now I get and it. They were going out to stop the Japanese planes from coming in to bomb the targets in Australia. Okay. Now, was it very scary? In, I beg your pardon? Was it scary in those times? Well, it was a little bit scary, but we were not actually in the fighting zone. We did not know exactly where the fighting zone was, but it was just a risk that we all had to take. Okay. I've changed, a, I've changed the picture, and now I've got a picture of you as a baby. Cup. When I won that cup. Yep. What, what, what category was it? I have no idea, Ethan. I was only what seven months old. I, I think don't I'm, really know anything about it. I don't even remember it. I think it was for the cutest baby. Beg your pardon. I think it was for the cutest baby. And this is the silver cup that Grandma won. How did you meet Grandad? How? Yeah. <laughs> well, I suppose in those days, young people just met as young people do today. We uh, had a lot of house parties in those days and... Uh, okay. We just met everybody in our own age group and we played cards or uh, we stood around the piano and someone played and we all joined in singing. Just anything to amuse ourselves. Okay. Now this is my great granddad, my mum's dad's dad. Yes. Like, like how did you get to school and that? Yes, well they had to have a horse and sulky to go to school. We went to, to Ballantoran School, the first school, and there was about four of us in the sulky. And uh, 
We travelled about five miles to go to school and uh, when uh, one time after we left the school the horse shied and there was a bit of broken crockery on the side of the road and the horse shied and my brother fell out, he was driving and he took the reins with him and we didn't have anything to control the horse and the horse was galloping towards a creek crossing and there were some people camped not far away from the road and a woman saw what happened and she ran out to catch the horse and we was sitting up in the sulky singing out run Mrs. Wright, run Mrs. White so as to try and catch this horse because it was heading towards this creek crossing anyway luckily she stopped the horse and uh, we were able to continue on home. <laughs> what? Did you have telephones back then? No, we didn't have a telephone then. It was, I was about 12 years of age and we were living out on the Warren Bungle Mountains and the property we Dad bought, they just had the telephone connected and there were six subscribers on the one line, they called it a 29 line, but they had a code so that each one would know which was their call. Our number was 29D and the others would be 29 something else. So it was, that's how we were able to uh, communicate with each other. Thank you for this talk.